But a large corporation is like a jungle, Lieutenant, to coin a phrase. I can't tell you how many executives there are in our ivory tower who would uh, commit felonious assault just for the key to a private washroom. That's not even to mention the ones who uh, are very unhappy because my uncle wished to sell. Yeah, you know, like those malcontents who kept threatening him. Well, you know, somehow, we just can't get a handle on those threats. I mean, like that stink bomb. The boys we sent to check it out, they say nobody even saw a car in your neighborhood during that time. Well, that is unfortunate. However, Lieutenant, I witnessed one of those phone calls myself. You did? Yes. Well, never mind about that. I'll get somebody else to check it out, OK? Yeah. Because I have my own personal lead in this case. You have? Do you remember that recorded telephone message on your aunt's phone? Yeah. Well, I've been listening to that over and over again. It's all right in there. And I'll tell you what, good cigar. This is one area that I do know about. His cigars? Yes, Benson told me that he dropped off Mr. Buckner's suitcase here at 6 o'clock, but no box of cigars. He said that you told him that you were going to take care of that. Yes. Yeah, I, I keep a supply right here. Oops. Go on, Miss Bishop. Yo, what's the matter? That's just funny you're asking about cigars, that's all. You see, Mr. Buckner had a little pocket cigar case. Here. What? Don't touch that. Well, why not? The cleaning lady just gave it to me. She, she said she found it underneath my desk. It, it must have been in Mr. Buckner's overcoat. That's where he always kept it. And you see, Benson put the overcoat on the suitcase, and it must have fallen out, that's all. I guess I just didn't notice it. What's the matter, Lieutenant? Did you think someone had stolen it? Well, it did seem like a kind of a coincidence. On that telephone tape, you could just barely hear cigar case missing, no cigars in the dash. Oh, so uh, you thought that someone wanted him to open a box of cigars while he was still in the car, I suppose? Well, it was a possibility. Lieutenant, what's this all about? I mean, why are you so interested in cigars? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. It's just that we have to check out everything. I know how badly you must feel at this point. Forgive me. Listen, by the way, Miss Buckner said she'd try to reach you that night. She thought you'd be working late here in the office, but that, Oh, uh... no. No, you see, my, my mother was expecting me to work late, and I knew she'd be going to bed early, so I went to a movie. Lieutenant. Lieutenant, you have not answered the lady's question. Now, will you tell her the truth? Miss Bishop, uh, the lieutenant is from Homicide, and obviously he is under the impression that the accident was caused by uh, an exploding cigar. What? Well, now, you see, Lieutenant, uh, Miss Bishop got the box of cigars from here. Yeah, I saw her, and uh, she put them over there on the suitcase. <laughs> yeah, he, he... Try one yourself. Okay. Wow. I never saw cigars quite like this before. Uh, are all the boxes the same? Uh, listen, uh, don't you tell customs. They're from Cuba. You know, that's a dollar a pound. Now, wait just a minute. Are, are you suggesting that something was wrong with one of those cigar boxes? Oh, of course not. The lieutenant is just simply wrong. You see, if there was an explosive in that car, it would have to have been placed somewhere else. No. No, I'm afraid not. No. You see, on the way over here, I bumped into a very nice old fellow that works in one of your service stations. His name is Ferguson. And he cleaned that car before they left. And he told me there was nothing else in that car except a suitcase, a coat, and a box of cigars. And the old boy who carried everything down, he said the same thing. All right, then. <clears throat> then the uh, explosive must have been in the cigar box. Yeah, I'll grant you that, Lieutenant. Yeah. And uh, if somebody tampered with it or... Uh, Switched it? That would have to have happened here, right? Okay. Miss Bishop, will you tell me how long did DL suitcase sit there in the middle of this floor with people coming and going? Oh, 20 or 30 minutes. But you were here at that time, weren't you? 
I mean, didn't I hear you say that you were here? Oh, yeah. oh no, no, no. Now, Mr. Stanford did not touch it. No, I just happened to know. He left without touching it. Oh, well, that's right. But I, I can remember Mr. Logan, uh, Joe Stevenson, Bernheimer. Uh, oh, oh, look, Miss Bishop, would, would you make a list for the lieutenant? Oh, sir. Yeah, and put down there anything else you can remember. You know, uh, anything like uh, stolen boxes, uh, boxes given away, uh, oh, just anything. What's the matter, Miss Bishop? The vice president. Well, he has a supply. Well, the, the cigar orders sometimes come in together. Uh, Mr. Everett Logan. Hmm, I have about, uh, about four boxes left. Did you say four, sir? Yes, that's very strange. Nancy! What's the matter? Is something wrong? Yes, sir. Oh, here, you've been keeping tabs on these supplies. How many boxes of cigars were there? Oh, well, I really haven't checked them much in the last two days, but did you take some home, Mr. Logan? No, I did not. Oh, well, they must be in here someplace. Uh, please don't touch the boxes, if you don't mind. Oh. That'll be all, Nancy. Thank you. You can go now. Yes, sir. Be sure and close the door on your way out. If you don't mind, sir, if you'll just lock this up and not touch anything, then I'll call the fingerprint crew. Why, Lieutenant? I oh. thought you were investigating David's accident. Just uh, covering all bases, sir. Uh, I mean, we haven't found anything suspicious. He thinks there might have been a bomb in a cigar box. What? Well, that's just a theory. Well, of course, we'll cooperate in any way possible. I'm afraid that isn't very much of a lock, and I have had several meetings here, but... Well, I must warn you, Lieutenant, unless you find something a little bit more important than that, if one word of a murder investigation is leaked to either the press or anyone else... Oh, no, sir, no. And that's all I need for now. Thank you very much. Much obliged. Roger, what the devil is going on around here? Does he really think it wasn't an accident? Just one more thing. 